One drink, two drink, red drink, blue drink. Now Triangle Bob is passed out in a mystery liquid covered in permanent marker. What happened to him right before this? Let's find out, shall we? Hey there. Welcome to Life Noggin. While having a casual drink here and there was once considered no big deal, more recent research has found that any amount of alcohol can negatively impact the brain. So, what do you think a night of binge drinking does to it? Binge drinking is when someone consumes more than four or five alcoholic drinks in one occasion, depending on various factors. But the effects of alcohol begin after just one drink. Once in your stomach, alcohol is quickly absorbed through the stomach lining into your bloodstream, spreading throughout your tissues and into your brain in just five minutes. Within 10 minutes, you'll start to feel some of its effects, like a relaxed mood or lowered inhibitions. In 20 minutes, your liver will start to process it, breaking it down from its original state, ethanol, into acetate, which is then broken into water and carbon dioxide by other tissues, which then can be easily eliminated. I'm talking about peeing, but I don't think YouTube will allow me to show that. But your liver can only break down an ounce of alcohol every hour. So as you continue to drink, your blood alcohol level will rise, leading to more and more side effects. At first, a lower BAC will make you feel euphoric. This is because alcohol activates a part of your brain known as the pleasure center. This region, called the ventral tegmental area, or VTA, produces dopamine, which makes you feel happy, relaxed, and confident. Sometimes a little too confident. These good feelings will tell your brain to drink more, but this will only lead to lots of negative side effects. Once your BAC reaches over 0.8, you will be legally intoxicated, and your brain will have trouble communicating with the rest of your body. Without a clear communication channel, impairment to your occipital, temporal, frontal, and parietal lobes will cause you to have difficulty seeing and walking straight, to slur your words when you talk, to have lowered inhibitions and mood swings, to have of poor judgment and to struggle to keep the contents of your stomach from exiting your body. I'm talking about vomiting and I'm not sure YouTube will let me show that. As your cerebellum is affected, you'll be unable to stand or walk on your own. And as your hippocampus is impacted, you'll start losing your short-term memory or consciousness, leading to blackouts. As you may have suspected, all of these changes in your brain greatly increases your risk of harm and injury from external sources. But if you continue to drink and your blood alcohol content continues to rise, you'll you'll be at risk of passing out or suffocating, falling into a coma, or even dying from alcohol poisoning or due to your brain being unable to function properly. Hopefully, if you're of age, you'll stay well below this level. And after a terrible night's sleep and a horrible hangover, you'll fully recover. Just drink a lot of water, eat some toast, and apologize to your loved ones. I have the Polaroids here, and I am definitely not allowed to show these on YouTube. So have you managed to quit drinking? Still trying? If you're comfortable with doing so, share some tips or give some encouragement to those struggling in the comments. Let's be there for each other. Also, tell me, what should I make a video on next? As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.